Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Angular. So today we are going to learn about the how to authenticate the user with the help of the Cognito AWS. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So this would be a little small series about the how we are doing the login, how we are doing the register, how do we are going to verify the email, change password, log out functionality so we are going to learn in this series so so let's get started so how we are going to do that so first we will do the registration part so here first we have the email so i'm going to add my email rajni can't 12 at the rate millinator.com okay then we have the password so you can fill the any of the password name that would be technical rajni i will add over here and phone number you need to add and register and the verify okay so first it will do the registration then there is a verify OTP which will be going in the next video right so first register part okay here you can see that OTP screen is visible right and if I go to the Rajnikan 12 valid at the rate millinator so if I go to the millinator and here I can just search my email Rajni, Rajni Khan 12. Okay, you can see we received an email verification code also. And if I go to the AWS console, then we have a Cognito. And this is my Cognito pool. And here you can see that the users currently I am adding that is Rajni Khan 12. And here you can see that it is unconfirmed. If I just put the verification code over this, right, and verify that one, you can see verify OTP and messages says that OTP verification successful. And if I check over here, currently it is unconfirmed. It is if I am going to reload this one, and here you can see that Rajnikan 12 is confirmed now. Okay, here here we have all the details of that one. Okay, so you can see everything is over here. And if I try to log in, here, here you can see that there is a login screen now. Okay, so I can log in with my email address. So this is that one. So I'm just doing the copying and just here log in with that part. Here you can see that after login, you are now logged in to access the secure reason. And here in the console, you will get to know that we have the all the details of that one authentication successful, the token, refresh token and everything. Right. So this is the overview of that one. So in the next video, we are going to learn about the log registration process. So let's have a look in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.